Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and Administrator of Doodly and Tony PJs. I'm just going to open People Builder. And as you can see, it's got all the ones I've already created on here. Um, if you want to create a new one, we just put um, a name in, like um, Maria, maybe. Okay. And then click Create. Then we'll get female. Um, let's have a look through these. There's one there. Let's try that one. That looks okay. Let's just put a on it like that. Mess around with the face. Let's see if we can get one with a nice smile. That'll do. Let's have a look at the. Do that. Yep. That's fine. Let's try that. Yeah. Okay, so that's the character. Let's just save that and see what we can save. Save as. Oh, we saved it, right. We can export it as DAS, PNG, or JPEG, or. Well, I'm going to save it as a PNG. Right. And there we go. Just make sure I saved it wherever I saved it on pictures, right? Okay. Now we'll just come out of that. Now we go on to Affinity Designer. Wait for Affinity Designer to come up. And then we'll open a new document. A4 portrait, create that. Now, what we're going to do is get the place image tool and go to pictures. I mean, with it, pictures there, right? And there's Maria. We're just going to bring that up there, like that. Character there, so we just bring it across a little bit. There's the character. Right now what we need to do is just click on it like that. And we're going to go to effects. And in effects, which is, there's the effects on Affinity Designer. Click on 3D. And then you can bring that up as much as you want it. Like that. Then, if you wanted to add an outer shadow. You click on the sh that outer shadow there on the effects and bring the radius up and the offset up so you can see where it's going to right you can change the position if you want where the shadow is going to be and you can offset the tool even further if you wish I like that so you can have it there right then once you've done that select all File, export as a PNG. Um, if you want it to go on to Doodly, obviously you'd have to have it less than 1920 by 1080, so you'd have to change that. Uh, but I wouldn't. I don't care really whether I have it like that. So I'm just going to go selection only, and I can change it if I need to at a later date for Doodly if I need to. All right. Um, and then you can change the character if you wish or you can make it Maria 1 just so that you've got the the original and this one right and then that's it that's all you've got to do it should be okay then so that's your character with the three dimensional image and the shadow on and then you get to your actual image on pictures which will be here let me go there and have a look at it there's the actual picture and if you want to put it on anywhere you just um, select pictures on 
YouTube or whatever or whatever it is and upload it to that okay so I hope this has been useful to you and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have please like and subscribe to Tony's Music thank you